Huge game, great throw by Kenny Pickett. Fake to Carter, now Pickett's trying to get to the corner himself, dies to the pylon, and he gets there. Of the season, we talk about how infrequently they ran the ball last year. Again, a designed quarterback run freezes the outside linebacker with a little stutter step, which is great. Third down and eight for Pickett. Now he steps up, has a receiver wide open. And Turner will walk into the end zone. And you see at the top of your screen, the safeties are down inside the box, playing a cover three, but as the corner comes up in a cover three, you never want that to happen where this, the deep safety is also coming up. Really a blown coverage by Austin P. But the impressive part is that Kenny Pickett found him. You know, too often quarterbacks just don't happen to see that guy. That's a guy that Mark Whipple can utilize in a bunch of different spots, line up at wide receiver spots. Pickett going for the end zone and a score with Addison. Field. And how about that big play? How about that big play to Jordan Addison, the true freshman? He had a drop earlier in the game, came back at a nice catch. And that was efficient. Yeah, well, this is where Kenny Pickett just settled in. Blocking fullback. Well, it's Vincent Davis now in the game, but Pickett's going to keep it himself. He scored a touchdown on the ground last week. Will he add one this week? He does. Pitt retakes the lead. Shotgun something. Probably not what you think it would be, but as he... Steel gets out of the shotgun and runs right behind his big center, Jimmy Morrissey. Five. <laughs> but he runs like he's in the heavy package. You saw it there. Lots of Syracuse Orange take him down. Pick it over the middle and a touchdown to Wayne. <laughs> well, we didn't mention Wayne's name all game long, and he makes three catches on this. Back, Mr. Wayne. Perfect throw. Along with the veteran Trey Tipton. Here's Pickett. Pass and catch for the touchdown, and it's Jordan Addison in the end zone again, Roddy. Second touchdown catch of the season for Addison, the freshman. From it in the middle. He's going to run up, run a little stop right there, and then come back to the inside. Nice. See what Pickett has planned. Cards bring a couple extra guys. There's the throw, Mack the catch, a first down. Taysir Mack to the 25. He spun off, stayed on his feet. He's going to go to the end zone, and it's going to be called a touchdown. It looked like Yasir Abdullah had him on the ground. Mack went ahead and kept going just in. Wes, if this stands, it's going to be a drive of almost for this Louisville defense. I could not tell there if his knee hit the ground, but the referees didn't see it. Second in the full 10. Pickett going to take the shot. Addison wide open. Busted coverage for the Wolfpack in the secondary. And 75 yards later, Jordan Addison's in the end zone. Just blows the coverage. Pick goes with tempo. Catches NC State off guard. I don't know who was supposed to cover Jordan Addison, but certainly wasn't supposed to be that much space. And that's what tempo does early in the game. Looked like NC State late getting Jimmy Morrissey. And there's Pickett with a flag down. Now, whether Kenny Pickett is in or not, and one official says he is in. Kenny Pickett's one-yard sneak. And after being stymied at the goal line in there. Late in the third quarter, tried to dive over the top. And NC State met him at the apex and knocked him back. Now it's called a touchdown. touchdown Back sneaks. So Pittsburgh goes back in front with 144 to play. And he's sticking with Vincent Davis at 175 because Pickett's just going to take it himself and score. Way from the quarterback sneak. He's had a quarterback before. Get his run a play with three receivers and boundary, or they do. Quick pass. Trying to get it to Izzy. They do. 10-5. The running back from Brooklyn scores. College plays with two linebackers and a nickel back, and it looks as like Isaiah McDuffie was motioning over to try to get under center. BC shows pressure on the edge. They bring it, but Pitt will score. Quick little pass out to the outside, and Taysir Mack.
Makes the catch and puts Pitt within one point. Quarterback under center, the back up within four yards. Catch off the turf. Yep. <laughs> Here's Pickett. He will run, and Kenny Pickett scores. Three rushing scores by Pittsburgh quarterbacks here in the first half. It's a wide open lane for the quarterback, playing man to man. Kenny Pickett says, all right, I may not be able to run like I typically do, but I can run. motion to empty the backfield. Hokies come with pressure. Pickett spins out of it. Now he's got to get rid of it. Has a receiver open in the end zone and a touchdown. Touchdown. Get a block. Now breathing room for Pickett and time on this play. Going deep. Has Turner open. Down at the 20. Touch back inside of the 10. Inside the 5 to the goal line. He scores. Panthers, can they finish it off? Pickett's going to try and do it on his own. Waiting for the official signal. He's in. Pickett toward the end zone. And is it caught? Yes. Jordan Addison. The touchdown. It looked like Joseph Charleston at the very least might bat it down. But he didn't. The footwork by Addison. Unbelievable concentration and then keeping the feet in. He only needs one. He has both of them in. He's concentrating on making the catch, but he has the awareness of where his feet are also. I'm, st I'm standing three yards away from him. Charleston got his hand on the ball, so it redirected. He had to get his feet to die and then still get the focus to, to bring the ball in. That, that was an unbelievable. And a half per game. Touchdown here if he catches it. Vincent Davis wide open in the flat, and it's a touchdown. And the Panthers trying to scratch back into this one. After falling behind 31 to nothing. So a good design, good play call, and, and we see Pitt now take advantage of the turnover by Clemson. Good job to start this drive. 33 yards on that play. Down the sideline, it's caught. Down that sideline for the Panthers, DJ Turner to the end zone. Back to back, long pass plays, and this one goes for six. Robust numbers for Davis. Pickett trying to run it in on the sneak. And he is in for the score.